welcome to day six of Vlogmas and today we are going to edit a book. If you don't know who I am, my name is Caitlin Duncan and I am a hybrid author which means I publish both traditional and independent books. Here on my channel we talk about the writing process and all the bookish things so if that interests you at all be sure to hit that like button so I know that this is more content that you would like to see. I am working very hard on not being extremely last minute with everything. So this book is coming out in January at this point and I'm still in the throes of CP feedback and restructuring and stuff like that. So backstory. I had one of my good friends look at this book. She's fantastic with looking at structure of nonfiction books and sort of pulling out the themes and stuff like that. So did that, revised it, sent it off to another CP who offered some feedback that literally like propelled me in a different direction for this book. <laughs> in the best way possible. I love her to death and I know she's watching this right now and know that you are amazing and your feedback is awesome. I let that feedback sit for a couple days which is super important because when it comes to a lot of feedback on your book really all at once it can get extremely overwhelming. So I read through all the feedback. I ended up just like deleting all of the nice things and just only having the stuff that I need to work on. So we worked in Word, track changes. So I have like a list of things that I need to do. I'm very glad that like typically I don't work weekends on my books because it sometimes offers a nice bridge for me to think about what to do next. And I had such a revelation yesterday for this book and it's making me really excited, but also, oh man, it's, uh, it's gonna change a lot and I think it's gonna like plummet my word count and this was already a super short book as is. I'm trying to take off that like strategic brain right now because I just need to get the book done and off to my proofreader and then I can figure it all out but like is one of those like terrible but awesome moments at once. I, I just have to do it. I, I have to I have to dive in and just do it. So one of the main things that I'm going to start off doing is fixing my table of contents because part of that revelation, the, the note that really stuck with me was readability and action steps and like connecting more with the reader of the book. And while I thought I did that up front, and I'm sure I did, but there's always room for improvement at this stage. So I I need to restructure my table of contents, which will in turn restructure the thought process of the book. And I'm really hoping that I don't have to delete a ton, but the important thing about that too, when editing, at least for me, I always put track changes on so that if I do like delete swaths of paragraphs and stuff, I can always go back, which is super helpful because I can get really, really red penny on my manuscripts and then I'll end up with like a, a flash fiction story instead of <laughs> <laughs> instead of a nonfiction book. So I'm gonna jump right in. I'm gonna put on some music on my TV because I find that putting headphones on with my glasses annoys me. So that's a super fun thing to know about me. tip that I suggest when editing your drafts of your manuscripts is to, well, this is just for me because I like to track how many drafts it takes, but also I like to keep originals and comments and stuff like that. So what I do is every time I do some sort of editing process, I create a new draft based on, like, so say this is CP feedback. So I'm taking all of that feedback, all those notes, and I just saved as another draft so that I can go in and do all that stuff. And then if I like accidentally delete something, I can go back to that other draft. It seems very simple, but like it took me years to like figure out this process. So I am currently on draft four of this project.
talk here, I just slashed my word count. I just took sections and just deleted them, which always hurts as an author. Tell me, tell me if you've ever felt this way. I also have a really good like heart feeling. It's not necessarily gut right now. It's like a heart feeling that like not to be woo woo or anything, but like I feel like it's moving in the direction it needs to. The other feeling is quite overwhelming though. So anyway, let's get back to it. Get my metaphorical red pen out and start slashing even more. Another thing I like to do while editing to really keep my flow going is to have like a notepad, notepad like a physical one or on the computer and make notes while I'm writing. So like I just had a moment that I'm like, no, I can't, I can't jump to something else because this is just what I tend to do when I edit, I jump around. So I have it open and I put some notes in there of something that I want to add later on and then it's out of my head, but I'm also like not holding onto it and it gives me the opportunity to just stay within the manuscript. Also, 2,000 words down, hoping I can earn at least some of those back, but the book is a lot tighter now. I believe with nonfiction, the book is the book size. I literally cannot read nonfiction books that just drone on and don't like offer anything and I think this book needs to offer more which I feel like the notes had sort of said but didn't say. It's just going to be as long as it needs to be. If it's short, it's short but my intention is to help authors. That's all I need to do with the book so I have to keep focusing on that. Popping in here for a little bit of a check-in. Don't mind the cat noises behind us. I s cannot seem to make it stop. I slashed so many words but the restructuring is is happening and it feels super good. So I did a little bit of restructuring, a little bit more on defining things. I'm just, I'm gonna keep working until I can't work because I have a live coming up today with the Writer's Hive. A lot of word slashing. I'm actually not as mad about it anymore um, because I know it's gonna be fantastic. Defining a few more things, streamlining everything, and um, it's just gonna be as long as it's gonna be. I have this going to uh, another CP, um, hopefully today. So I'm gonna keep working and try trying to get it all done. Send that off. This week I can work on other things, more Vlogmas content. Um, I always have a to-do list that's a mile long, so. So we're end of day here. After we filmed the Writer's Hive, I had a ton of stuff to do around the house. It offered me a little more time to think about what I wanted to change in the book. And I think I'm down like 8,000 words total, which is not great, but I feel like the book is a lot tighter and the book is where it needs to be. So I sent it off to my next CP and I basically gave the notes like, hey, here are all the notes my previous CP gave. I fixed them. Did I fix them? Where can I expand? What's confusing? Yada, 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 typical CP stuff. So that's off to her. Pretty much done with this process of doing my edits. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell next to it so you know the next time I upload, which will be tomorrow. I'll see you then.